What's up guys, it's James here from TechHelp202, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a text encryptor using Microsoft Visual Basic uh, 2010. So, let's just show you what the end product is going to be. Here is an encryptor, so let's just say for example I put in my name. And this is going to, this, the first box, it's for a security code, something you can easily remember, but not like a password, like your name, a birth date, something like that. Now the next one is what you're going to want to encrypt. So let's just encrypt my password. Okay, and we're going to encrypt it. So here's our encrypted code now. We go ahead and you can copy that and put it onto a text document somewhere. And people will think it's your password or something if you call the text document password. Now, in order to decrypt it, you shall, I'm just going to actually close the program so to show you that you can still decrypt it even if you've closed the program. So here we go put it in here now that didn't work that only didn't work because I don't have the security code up here so if I put in my name and try to decrypt it, it still doesn't work the security code has to be the exact way you put it like if it was a password but it's not an actual password so I have to put a capital J there and there we go so let's get started in making this first we're gonna open Visual Basic 2010 and make a new project Windows form application, we're going to go ahead and call it text encryptor. Now I'll call it text encryptor 2, I guess. Alright. So we're going to go ahead just resize it right off the bat. We'll change it later to suit it perfectly. Suit it perfectly. Next, I what I like to do is I change the icon to my tech up to a 2 icon. And the way I do that, you just have to get an uh, .aco file by converting any sort of image. So, pretty simple. Then rename it. I'm going to call this one Tech Help 202 Text Encryptor. Next, uh, I don't want people to resize this when it's a finished product, so then they can see all this blank spots so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to look for F's okay form border style I'm gonna change it to fixed dialogue alright now I'm gonna so they can't go full screen on this or maximize just come to maximize box and set it to false next what we're gonna do is Hmm. Okay, we're pretty good with all of that stuff there. So let's get into what we're going to need. We're going to need two buttons. Okay, there we go. So two buttons. And put one there and one there. Space them out a little bit. Perfect. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and we need two text boxes. So, where is it? Text box. All right. There we go, and stretch it out. And yes, if you wanted to, you could uh, make this bigger. And you could put this down here and set it to a multi-line text box. Like that. So you could encrypt something a little bigger. If you wanted to do that, you can. I'm actually going to do it that way this time. But you can still make it a small one if you want to. It's all up to you. Alright, so now that we have gotten all of this in, we're going to go ahead and get right into the coding now. Well, first let's rename the buttons, actually. Encrypt. And zero YPT. Yeah. And decrypt. Next we are going to do the coding so come right into the code and I'm gonna put the code for download right off of my website uh, the link will be in the description for it because there's always copy and paste problems with the just copying it from the description so go ahead and get rid of all that you already got it in a text document here so you're just gonna copy it and come right in here and paste it and there we go now we go ahead and you can change the error message if you want to but yeah so here we go debug it 
and it all worked. So now we can go ahead and test it. Password. Encrypt. Alright. And you can encrypt it multiple times if you want to. And then you can just decrypt it right back to what you had. And then you'll get this. So there we go. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to make a uh, text encryptor. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.